New tonight, the exploration of two world-class artists whose work is now taking center stage at the Met, Edgar Degas and Edouard Manet. The exhibition revealing how the two who met in Paris and became very, very dear friends were as complex as their paintings. Complex relationship, too. They revered and at times rivaled one another. With a look into the portrait of friendship and an art that defined an era, here's Jim Dolan. Two old friends come together again at the Met this week. Edgar Degas, his vibrant colors against a stark, bleak background. And Edward Manet, whose subtle shadings of blues and greens, of dress and sofa and drapes leading one to the other. The two friends who prowled together the streets and salons of Paris in the 1800s are reunited now in New York. By bringing them together, we show the ways that artists capture their moment. This was an incredibly exciting moment in the middle of 19th century Paris. And these artists captured that modernity in fresh, new ways, really eyewitness to their time. The exhibit brings together 160 works from museums around the world. You can see the subtle but dramatic lines around the eyes of an artist as rendered by Monet, and the lush bouquet of flowers set beside an indifferent, distracted model as seen by Degas. The two side by side, just as they were a century and a half ago. By putting them in juxtaposition, they each cast a new light on each other and that their relationship, um, as it is shown on the walls, will um, help people to see them afresh. The exhibit chronicles two brilliant careers, to be sure, but more than that, a friendship. It includes the two works the two men were creating on the day they met at the Louvre in Paris. Degas struck up a conversation, and they were friends for a lifetime. So here we're looking at a drawing by Degas of Manet. Um, and it's an interesting part of their relationship that Manet never made a portrait of Degas, but we have this extraordinary series of portraits that Degas made of Manet. Do we know what Manet thought of the drawings and the etchings? We do not. But when Degas painted Manet and his wife, Manet in a rage slashed the painting. It's included in the exhibit. Both artists learned their craft, first copying and then evolving beyond the artists that came before them, just as artists now study them. We see artists all the time in the galleries of the Met, copying from our collection, looking at it, taking photos, taking notes, and we love thinking about how that historical corpus is going to translate into their work. The exhibit opens to the public on Sunday, 